Hello to all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol Baskin here. Doesn't work, does it, to be honest. Hello YouTube, welcome along to Lockdown Weekly Vlog number four. It's Monday morning and I'm currently taking Buddy out for a long walk across the backfield in this glorious sunshine. Just made myself a Yorkshire tea biscuit brew cup of tea and look, that was the last one as well. The box is empty now, so they're all good. I just want to talk about Instagram very quickly because I want, that's how I want to start this week's weekly vlog, lockdown weekly vlog, is by talking about Instagram because there is a blogger that I know on Instagram who does a Instagram, uh, who has an Instagram account, I can't remember the username though, um, but she basically does this Instagram account and she talks about snacks and stuff that she's eaten and, and stuff like that, it's really weird. Um, and obviously I've been seeing a lot on my Instagram um, feeds recently, a lot of like food posts and stuff like that. I follow an Instagram page on Instagram called New Foods UK and basically they show off all the new food products like snacks and stuff like that uh, that you can buy at various shops uh, and stuff. So I thought to myself maybe this is something I should do. You know, I should do an Instagram account based on snacks that I eat or or drinks that I drink, you know. And may, obviously some of these drinks and some of these snacks and stuff, are obviously they're things that I've never had before um, and stuff like that. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to make an Instagram account called The Hungry Steve. <laughs> it's a very weird title but literally this is what I came up with in the space of like five seconds. I was like, what do I call this Instagram account? I know, The Hungry Steve, um, because obviously there's a pub chain here in the UK called, um, what is it, is it The Hungry Horse, I think it's called, The Pub Chain, um, but yeah, they, they have various Hungry Horse pubs around the UK, and I kind of got the idea The Hungry Steve around that name, The Hungry Horse, but except not The Hungry Horse, it's The Hungry Steve. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to be posting on this Instagram account, at the moment I'm going to be posting one post a day at the moment and then obviously they will be they'll be less frequent after a while because obviously i'm not going to review everything that i eat but um but basically what the idea is is i'm going to review things that i've never tried before so like you know it could be drinks that i've never had before uh it could also be meals that i've never had before it could be snacks i've never had before um and also as well it could be um what else could it be? I mean, I literally, I could be uh, telling you guys my review on things like food at Weatherspoons or McDonald's or KFC or Burger King or Five Guys, etc, etc. So, yeah, that's the idea around it anyway. So, yeah, so please do give that Instagram account a follow. It's the Hungry Steve is the Instagram username. So today I'm going to be heading off to Sandbanks uh, for a little bit of a walk. I thought I'd go for a really long walk along sandbanks because it's a nice day isn't it so might as well do that so you guys are going to see some footage now of me at sandbanks who knows maybe we might meet harry redknapp that would be awesome wouldn't it having harry redknapp the harry redknapp on my weekly vlog how awesome would that be i think it would wouldn't it anyway let's take a look then at me at sandbanks
and I am back home after my little day out at um, Sandbanks. Wow, I went really far. I, I kid you not, I have never gone that far to Sandbanks before. Like in terms of Sandbanks Beach, I've never walked that far. Literally, you saw there in the montage the Sandbanks Ferry. That's literally where I walked up to. <laughs> I've never actually walked that far before, I kid you not. Honestly, I have walked on Sandbanks Beach before, but not as far as I did today. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Um, and as well, I had an ultimate burger as well from Weatherspoons, which was really nice because, I'll tell you why. Because normally on the menu it says it's £8.05 with a soft drink, or it's £9.05, I think, with an alcoholic drink. I had a soft drink, I had a pint of Pepsi Max, because I was so thirsty, I didn't have a drink with me. Which, by the way, wasn't ideal, just let you know, because, you know, when you're out in the sun for that long, you need to keep yourself hydrated. I'm just putting that important message out there. But, um, when I got to Weatherspoons, I had a pint of Pepsi, which was so nice and chilled and oh so good and i also had an ultimate burger now normally that would be five pound eight at uh, eight pound five sorry eight pound five is what it would normally be um and it says it on the menu as well but when i went to check out it was actually seven pound 15 thanks to the vat cut so yeah so i got that for seven pound 15 today which was really really nice really enjoyed it as well i went to asda as well at uh, the train station in Bournemouth and I picked up what did I pick up today I picked up these yum 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 I picked these up today um, now these are those are the cup those are the little tiny cupcakes that have got the biscuit or biscoff like um, toppings on top so we're going to give these a try a little bit later on in the weekly vlog I'm going to give that a try and I'll tell you what I think of that um, I also picked up a bottle of Pepsi Max, which I'm going to have in a minute because I'm so thirsty again. And I also picked up, they had the mocha um, coffee mousse cup things in Asda and Bournemouth train station, but they didn't have the macchiato ones, which I've seen as well. Um, so I am going to give those a try as well later on in the weekly vlog. I don't think I'm going to give it a try. You know, you might just see me maybe holding it up or something. I'll do a little voiceover or something of my thoughts and stuff on what I thought of it and stuff. I don't know. I might do that. I don't know yet. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, so that's what I got today. I also had to stop off at Boots as well in Castle Point to uh, do something there. Um, but other than that, I'm back home. I've walked miles. I look a little bit sunburnt, not going to lie. I can see myself in the camera. I look a bit sunburnt. But um, all in all, good day. Watching the Hunger Games catching fire on my iPad. I really don't need this. <laughs> Why Snapchat? Why? <laughs> Honestly. Watching the Hunger Games Mocking J Part 1 on my iPad. Watching the Hunger Games Mocking J Part 2 on my iPad. It's Tuesday morning and I'm on my way to work. Taking Buddy for a long walk across the backfield on this sunny Tuesday morning. For lunch today I've got bacon flavoured instant noodles. So I am out in a garden right now. But guess whose garden it is? It's Kirsty's. And of course we're keeping our distance as well. <laughs> the new normal. How are you anyway? Bad? She's feeling really bad to be honest. Have you been enjoying lockdown so far or not really? Yeah. Just been enjoying lockdown, which is good. So yeah, there we go. Look, it's Kirsty, everybody. Hi. Okay, I look very red from earlier. I've just got back from Kirsty's. Um, so obviously we met up, we we social distanced, and obviously we were having a catch up together. I just wanted to update you guys. Me and Kirsty have during lockdown decided we should remain as friends. Um, so that is exactly what the situation is between me and her. Obviously, I've not mentioned her, really, up until now. You know, which you guys are probably thinking, well, why has he not mentioned Kirsty yet, you know? But anyway, um, but yeah, I just wanted to put it out there that, yeah, that obviously earlier this year I said that we were together, um, but during lockdown we've just decided to go, not our separate ways, but obviously we've just decided to go down the route of, you know, 
it's just best if we remain friends. Um, so yeah, so she will definitely make another appearance again and again and again. You guys will see her again and again, hopefully, in the weekly vlogs. Um, you know, we will still be doing the same things as what we did when we were together, like the beach, going to restaurants and, you know, going to the cinema together and, you know, and stuff like that. We will definitely be doing that, uh, but except we just won't have the relationship tie, if that makes sense. Um... So, but yeah, I mean, to be honest, you know, I will be honest here, you know, she is a, a remarkable, amazing friend who I will always cherish having moments with, you know, um, and yeah, I mean, she is just such a, a, a lovely friend and, you know, and I am so glad that, you know, that we do have these certain things in common like we both like going to the cinema we both like going to the beach and and stuff like that you know so it, it is nice uh, but anyway i thought i'd just quickly jump on let you guys know a little bit about what's happened between me and kirsty um and i can confirm that we will definitely be meeting up again and again and again and again you know as friends and yeah and I just look forward to spending some more great quality time with her again. I'm really looking forward to it. Watching Nick Tatum perform live on Facebook. Look at all these various camera shots that are being used. I wish I could have this as part of my weekly vlog. Just, you know, when I talk to you guys, there should just be various shots of me talking like this. This is such a beautiful song. Hasn't he got such a lovely voice? I think he has. I feel like this is just a dream. No, I wake up soon. Honestly, this is now day two. What is this? Honestly, what is Snapchat advertising to me? I don't even have a damn partner, Snapchat. Honestly, I don't understand this. The advertising on Snapchat is just woo! Crazy! Honestly, I don't need it! Just about to clean my chinchilla cage out. Chinnies, hello! Hello! Oh, you're so cute! Yes, you are, you're so cute! Lily and Lola, everybody! Whoa, how cute are they? <laughs> how cute you are. Just about to have a mango and passion fruit smoothie. Nice Watching thing? Harry Potter and the Did Philosopher's Stone on my iPad. Castle Point Library is currently closed, but look here. Castle Point Library is reopening on Thursday the 23rd of July from 9.30am. Yay. Good morning, everybody. Oh, my hair. What's going on there? <laughs> Good morning, uh, it is Wednesday morning and I am currently on my way to work. It's around about 20 past 5 at the time of recording this part of the Lockdown Weekly vlog on this Wednesday morning. I'm sorting out my hair while I'm talking to you guys because it's a bit woo, all over the place. This is my bed head, by the way. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, that's reopening tomorrow, the 23rd of July. So by the time this video goes out, it will already be reopened, so got any, uh, you know, due library, put, library books, go and take them back. Otherwise, you're going to get charged. Probably, you probably are getting charged already, who knows? No, I don't think, I don't think that's true, because, you know, <laughs> I think they've obviously exempt because of this reason, because they've had to shut. Obviously, you're not going to have to pay any late fee, char fee charges. For your library books, but uh, there we go anyway. Uh, good morning everybody. I'm on my way to work. For breakfast today I've got peanut butter on toast with some pineapple and I've also got a flask of coffee as well. 
So it's Wednesday morning still, I have just got home from work and got out my work uniform and I'm back out in this glorious sunshine once again as I'm currently taking Buddy out for a long walk across the backfield on this Wednesday morning. There he is, look. Gonna have some VIB biscuits along with some Lucas Aid while watching Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on my iPad. Watching Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on my iPad. Watching Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire on my iPad. Watching Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix on my iPad. For dinner tonight I've got salmon and chips. Just about to do the washing up and put the dishwasher on. Watching Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince on my iPad. Good morning, it is Thursday morning. I've just woke up and I'm currently watching Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 on my iPad. No! Dobby, don't die! No! Dobby! Watching Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 on my iPad. Gonna get dressed. Let's see what the weather's doing outside this morning. It's looking nice and sunny. So I've just had some breakfast. For breakfast today I had some choco hoops, which I normally have for breakfast. And now I've come outside in this once again glorious sunshine as I am currently, there he is, look, behind me, currently taking Buddy out for a long walk across the backfield. Oh, he's going for a wee, but I'm taking him for a long walk across the backfield. Now watching Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation on Netflix via my TV in my bedroom. Watching American Pie on Netflix. Watching American Pie 2 on Netflix. Watching American Pie 2 on Netflix. Watching American Pie The Wedding on Netflix. Currently watching the Xbox Game Showcase on YouTube on my TV in my bedroom. And look at this. This is from the demo of Halo Infinite, one of the launch titles that's going to be launching on Xbox Series X when the console launches around the world at the end of the year. Look at look how amazing the graphics are. Wow, I love this. Just to let you guys know uh, that I have filmed a Xbox game showcase uh, video um, which is up on my YouTube channel Steve Official right now at the time of this video going up so please go and check it out I will tell you guys all the announcements that were made at today's Xbox Game Showcase event uh, in that video but I must say some of those games that are coming out on Xbox Series X and are even playable on the Xbox One console when it comes out at Christmas. It, it's, it's just, oh, you know what, it's just absolutely amazing how you can play the game on the previous gen, which is the Xbox One, and you can upgrade without an additional cost to the Series X. You know, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, I really can't wait um, to see how the Xbox Series X looks and feels, you know. Um, I don't know if I'll get a Series X in person, though. I don't know, you know. But I am really can't wait for the reviews to come in and stuff like that later this year, once the console's released, because it does look absolutely phenomenal, absolutely amazing as well. Okay, here's my setup. I'm just about to have a video call with Kieran on Skype. So, it is the start of San Diego Comic Con at home and this is currently the opening scene of the new Mutants movie which is coming to cinemas and theatres around the world on August 28th, 2020 at the moment. I mean, this film looks absolutely amazing. It's a horror by Marvel. I'm really looking forward to this movie. <clears throat> it's funny that I'm watching this actually. I'm currently watching the Boys Season 2 San Diego Comic Con at Home event um, on YouTube via IGN. It's funny that I'm watching this because I've not even seen the Boys Season 1 yet, which is available to watch on Prime Video. But Season 2 of the Boys is coming to Amazon Prime a little bit later on this year. So, looking forward to watching season one when I get the chance to. 
I'm also looking forward to watching season 2 when that's also available to watch via Prime Video later this year. Good morning everybody, hi everybody, and welcome to Friday's part of the Lockdown Weekly Vlog. I'm going to talk to you about why I'm wearing this in just a few moments. Uh, first of all though, I just want to say happy Friday, it's payday for me, yeah boy payday. Yeah. Uh, payday for me today which is good. Um, also as well, I just want to say that Taylor Swift has surprised us with a brand new album called Folklore which has got 16 songs in it. Um, so I'm going to give that a listen probably later on or something like that. Um, also as well, I'm going to talk very shortly about some movie delays because there's been some delays from movies including Mulan, Star Wars, Avatar, Spider-Man 3, etc, etc. I'm going to talk about that in a few moments. Um, I've been awake this morning since around about half past six this morning. I've been awake since and since then I've been watching Doctor No on my iPad and I've finished that and I'm currently now watching From Russia With Love on my iPad and the time is now ten to nine. So yeah, I've been awake since half six this morning. Can't believe it. Um, also as well, coming up a little bit later on in this weekly vlog, I'm going to celebrate ten years of One Direction because yesterday was their tenth anniversary and I didn't celebrate it yesterday so I'm going to celebrate it uh, with you guys very very soon so do watch out for that because that's coming up uh, but I just very quickly want to talk about what I am wearing on my face uh, it is a face mask of course because today from today it is uh, mandatory unless you are medically exempt such as if you've got asthma etc etc you are not required to wear one of these but if you don't have any of those exemptions then you are required to wear one of these in a supermarket in a shop in a takeaway in a coffee shop etc etc so yeah so that's come into force from today anyway so it is friday morning and i am now just about to get dressed um oh actually before i do let me show you guys what the weather's looking like outside this morning i think i might do that actually let me let me show you guys what's going on outside this morning it's looking a little bit oh it's looking very cloudy very gray out there this morning lovely just made myself a cup of tea watching goldfinger on my ipad hello bud Bud. Taking Buddy for a long walk around the backfield. Having some bacon rashes and a dark chocolate bar whilst watching Thunderball on my iPad. So I have just finished listening to the brand new uh, album by Taylor Swift called Folklore. Uh, it was a, it dropped surprisingly, um, well Taylor Swift technically gave us less than 24 hours notice um, about the album dropping, uh, but she spent a lot of lockdown um, recording this album which has got 16 tracks in it um, and yeah I must admit I really like the album, I absolutely love the album. Um, the lyrics in that album are just absolutely beautiful, you know, they really are and I absolutely adore and I absolutely love Taylor Swift as an artist, you know, she has had so many great hits, you know, uh, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, 22, uh, Shake It Off, uh, Lover as well, uh, You Need to Calm Down is another one as well that she's done. Um, I mean, I absolutely love, love, love Taylor Swift and I must admit that what I've just heard was an hour of musical masterpiece and it's probably by far one of the best albums that I've heard so far in 2020, to be honest. It is up there. I've got to admit, it is up there. Um, so yeah, so if you haven't yet checked out Taylor Swift's brand new album please go and check it out it's available to stream on apple music amazon music youtube music 
um, Spotify as well and it is also available to purchase via iTunes and Google Play Music as well so please 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 go and check it out and you know what I'm gonna do I'm also going to do a blog post about that album on my blogging website steve-official.com uh, I will give you guys more details about that as soon as I can um, but yeah definitely please go and check that album out because it is amazing Okay, I just had to put my bedroom light on because it's starting to get a bit dark in here. Um, anyway, I'm just a bit upset a little bit actually because right now on my TV, this here is The Walking Dead. Uh, this is the Comic Con for The Walking Dead on IGN via YouTube, which is where I'm watching all the Comic Con events from. Um, so this is, I think, the season 10. They're taking a look at the season 10 finale of The Walking Dead, which is still yet to air, but obviously it hasn't been able to due to the pandemic. But I'm a little bit upset because before The Walking Dead, uh, there was a, a panel for Fear The Walking Dead, which I kind of missed because IGN didn't show it on their YouTube channel. Instead, they showed a Star Wars comic or uh, book thing. Anyway, so they did that panel instead of the Fear the Walking Dead one, but I'm still happy though because I'm seeing the main Walking Dead series um, panel via IGN's Comic Con. Um, but I can also confirm, by the way, that uh, Fear the Walking Dead has been, well, it, uh, season six of Fear the Walking Dead will be coming to TV screens in October. That's been confirmed. I also want to say as well one more thing um, about the boys because last night the boys did their Comic Con event um, over in San Diego um, and they announced Seth Rogen who is the executive producer of the boys which is the original Amazon Prime series. Uh, series 2 will be coming in September with the first three episodes airing in September and then obviously it'll be weekly. Um, and then they've also announced that season 3 is also coming to um, Amazon Prime. It is going to be, hopefully they're going to start doing the production on season 3 of the boys um, in early 2021 at the moment which is some good news um so yeah so i'm just here right now currently watching the walking dead comic con at home event in san diego via ign's youtube channel i'm loving this okay so i've just had some dinner for dinner tonight i had fish and chips which wasn't brought from a chippy by the way it was brought well it was from the freezer, you know, the fish and the chips, so, you know, oven cooked. Um, but I am going to have some dessert and I want to show you this before I put this back in the fridge. I picked these up. These are chocolate mocha cups and these were something that I found the other day via the New Foods UK Instagram page. They can be found in Asda um, and they are £2 each and you get them in these little glass espresso cup things. I mean, look at that. That, that looks lovely, doesn't it? So I've just taken some photos of this because obviously this is going to be going up on my Hungry Steve Instagram page at some point. So, and I'm obviously going to do a review on these. Um, but I thought I'd give one a go and I'll just show you guys what my thoughts are on these. So without further ado, I've got a big spoon here. So without further ado, I'm just going to, you know, get a bit of this like that. So, mmm. This is beautiful. And I'm a mocha fan as well. Ah, oh. I am in heaven right now. Oh God! Ah. Oh. 
Oh man, this I am in heaven. Mm. I can't get enough. <laughs> you guys have just witnessed me eat this entire thing. And I don't care. <laughs> because that was so bloody good. Literally all gone. Can't get the chocolate bits though. I oh hang on. There we are. All gone. Pretty much. But oh my goodness, that that was good. That was definitely worth two quid. And you get an espresso glass. It comes in a in a glass cup. Oh god. I've got one more, but I'm not gonna eat it now, obviously not. That was that was okay, I rate that. I definitely rate that. Ten out of ten. Boom. Ten out of ten. Buy that in Asda. If you if you shop locally at Asda, go to Asda and pick them up because they're two quid. And I tell you what, they are bloody amazing. Oh, that is good. That's good stuff right there. Good morning. It's very dark this morning and it's spitting. So, you know, it's kind of raining. But uh, apart from that, it's all good. Good morning, Saturday morning. It's 20 past five at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. And I'm currently on my way to work at the moment. Um, a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. First of all, I watched The Walking Dead, uh, San Diego Comic Con event last night, which was good. It was announced that the series 10 finale will be airing on October 4th over in the US. So potentially Monday, October 5th is when it'll be airing over in the UK because usually um, The Walking Dead airs their new episodes here in the UK one day after it's been broadcasted over in the US. So that's the first thing. The second thing is season 10 has been extended by an extra six episodes which will be airing in early 2021 which is so confusing because obviously in October's the season 10 finale but we're getting 10 extra uh, six extra episodes in early 2021 from season 10 so that's going to be very confusing so is this a, again another mid-season finale pretty much or i don't know i really don't know um and it was also announced as well last night that season 11 of the walking dead has been delayed until 2021 due to the coronavirus pandemic uh, obviously so so yeah so there is that um, and also as well, Fear the Walking Dead, um, their brand new season will be airing in the US on October 11th. And also as well, World Beyond, which is the uh, Walking Dead spin-off, it's another spin-off series from The Walking Dead, uh, that's going to be airing the same night as the season 10 finale of The Walking Dead, uh, which is October 4th. So I'm wondering if maybe we'll also be getting that world beyond season or well beyond series and i'm wondering whether or not that's going to be airing the same night as the season 10 finale over here in the uk or not i'm not too sure but anyway so i just thought i'd give you an update on the walking dead tonight is uh again comic con at home and tonight is the simpsons which i'm really looking forward to i cannot wait to see what the simpsons have up have in store um, when they do their Comic Con panel event at home uh, very shortly so I really can't wait for that so obviously I'll show you guys a little bit of their Comic Con at home panel and I'll just talk briefly about The Simpsons as well when it happens but uh, there we go anyway so like I say it is Saturday morning it's just gone 20 past 5 and I am currently on my way to work very dark very muggy it's very mild as well like you know the air doesn't feel fresh this morning anyway i'm on my way to work 
Just got into work for breakfast today. I'm gonna have some pitch, some brioche chocolate chip pitches. And I'm also gonna have some, uh, a flask of coffee as well. Afternoon. Uh, it is Saturday afternoon. I have got home from work and got out my work uniform after doing a 6.45 till 11.45 shift at work. Um, and I am currently sat down at the moment and I'm watching Diamonds Are Forever, um, which is a James Bond film. I'm watching that on my iPad as you can see. Um, so I've been watching that for the last hour and a half, so the time is now 2 o'clock? Yeah, 2 o'clock. So anyway, I am actually just about to go and have some lunch. Um, what have I got for lunch today? So I picked something up from work which I'm going to have for lunch. Um, so yeah, for lunch today I am going to be having these two cheese and bean slices which look a bit squished but oh well. Uh, I'm going to have those for lunch today anyway. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's all that I've been up to at the moment. Oh, and I've also done another TikTok as well. I duetted with someone, one of my followers on TikTok. I commented on her post earlier saying that I'd do a duet with her on uh, TikTok later on. So and she said, I would greatly appreciate that. So i done that, um, which was nice. So really, it was such an honour to uh, do a duet. And it was my first duet as well. Wow. Anyway, so yes, that's what I'm up to this afternoon. Okay, so I have just had some dinner. It's Saturday night. I've just had some dinner. For dinner tonight, I have had, um, what have I had? I had uh, Swedish meatballs from Ikea, and that was the last time I'm going to be having Swedish meatballs for a while because we've used them all up and we're not going to Southampton for a long time. And I'm not going to Southampton for a long time neither, so sad times i ain't gonna be able to have swedish meatballs for a while anyway um well i had my tv on as you can see there and i was going to be watching the simpsons comic con pa panel um because they were going to talk all things season 32 which is airing over in the US from September 27th. I don't know when it's going to be airing here in the UK, but it'll air at a later date. But this is IGN that I'm watching on YouTube, and that's Keanu Reeves right now. I think he's probably talking about the um, Bill and Ted Face the Music movie or something. I don't know. Um, so I've kind of switched off from this at the minute. But I was kind of expecting them to do the Simpsons Comic Con panel, but they didn't. And I'm so annoyed because, again, that was a panel I was really looking forward to watching. Um, I've just been following it on social media. The only things that they really spoke about, really, was some of the guest stars that's going to be appearing in season 32 of The Simpsons. Um, and they also showed a couple of brief clips as well uh, from season 32. Uh, one of them has something to do with Homer Simpson being a Disney princess and also being Yogi Bear as well, don't ask. And there was another clip that they showed uh, from this year's Treehouse of Horror episode which they normally have in every season of The Simpsons. They normally have a Halloween special. So they showed a clip of that as well. Apart from that, that's it. There's one final Comic Con event that I'm looking forward to, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to see this later on. Um, but there's one more Comic Con event that I'm looking forward to seeing, which is on at 10 o'clock tonight. So just before I go to bed, I'm going to sit down and try and see if I can watch it. It's for Family Guy. I absolutely love Family Guy, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming up in Season 19 of Family Guy when it airs later this year. Really looking forward to that. Anyway, I'm now just about to go shopping. I'm going to go to Asda. I'm going to buy a couple of bits from Asda. We've decided that we're going to do Aldi a little bit later this week, but we're just going to get a few essentials from Asda tonight. So, uh, so that's what's going to happen. So I will do an Asda haul. Whether or not it will be tonight or tomorrow, obviously, you'll, you'll find out later in the weekly vlog. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm on my way to Asda. Okay, so it is Saturday night and I am currently watching The Family Guy 
uh, Family Anything Guy green, Comic Con panel. Here they are, look. Oh, Who have we got? We've got Mila Kunis. Got Alex Sulkin, got Seth Green, got Alex Borstein, Rich Appel, Seth MacFarlane, Cara Vallo as well. They're all there uh, for you. And they are all doing the Comic Con at home. I will tell you more details about Family Guy probably in the next part of the weekly vlog. I'm easy like a Sunday morning. Good morning, it is Sunday morning, and I am currently walking to work with the time being around about 20 past five, which is what time it usually is when I'm normally at this part. And I'm normally walking to work, and I'm normally here, you know, hope that made sense. Anyway, last night I watched uh, the Family Guy Comic Con. Not really a lot was said, to be honest. I mean, they did talk briefly about season 19. They also spoke about, like, their favourite episodes, favourite cutaway scenes and stuff from Family Guy over the years. But apart from that, they didn't really talk a lot, you know. Um, but, yeah, they also talked about how each of the actors got the uh, parts and how each of the characters got their own voices um, and stuff like that as well and even Seth MacFarlane even touched upon Quagmire as well and how Quagmire got the voice um, I think Quagmire got the voice from like sort of uh, the 1970s, 1980s uh, radio adverts that Seth MacFarlane used to listen to um, but he said that he didn't know why he went down the direction of Quagmire being this weird, psycho pervert. Yeah, so that's just a character that's just been developed naturally into this. So I don't think he was intending on Quagmire being this pervert. But uh, anyway, so there we go. So that's Family Guy at Comic Con uh, panel that happened last night. And that's it pretty much now for the San Diego Comic Con. So hopefully next year will be a little bit better. Hopefully next year they'll be able to attend the event. People will be able to attend the event um, in person. So fingers crossed that can happen. And also as well, Maybe one day I should go to San Diego and go to their Comic Con. I'd love to do that one day. I really would. Yeah, you know, I absolutely would love to do that one day. You know, honestly, that would be so nice. Anyway, so there we go. Anyway, Sunday morning, and I'm currently walking to work. It is Sunday afternoon. I have got home from work, and I... Uh, well, yeah, I got home from work. I worked from 6.45 to 11.45 today. Uh, I've got home, got out my work uniform. I watched a little bit of uh, James Bond as well, which was the James Bond movie, uh, The Spy Who Loved Me. I've been watching a little bit of that. I'm gonna watch a little bit more of that when I get back from taking Buddy for a walk. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm currently doing at the moment is I'm currently taking Buddy for a walk. It's lovely, the sun is shining. A little bit of a better day than what it was yesterday to be honest so yeah that's what I'm doing at the moment earlier this week I went to Asda as you know and I picked up some chocolate cup mousses which obviously you guys saw me try earlier in the weekly vlog and can I just say they are lush um, and I also picked up some of these as well. These are called Speculoos as well, which is a very weird title. But apparently uh, these have got some sort of like biscuit dash biscoff flavour frosting on top. So um, obviously there's, what would I say there is? There's probably about two various ones in here, but you get you get nine in a box. They're limited edition. Anyway, and they are available to buy at Asda. I've just taken some photos of these because obviously I'm going to put them on my Instagram page, The Hungry Steve, um, at some point. Bit of frosting. <laughs> Bit of frosting. So, 
I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give three a try. Should we give three a try? I think we will. So this is the first one. Look, these look. Look how good these look. Literally, I don't think this camera is gonna do it justice, really. But it does. Doesn't that look amazing? There we are. It, it focus. It focused. So I'm just gonna. Just gonna try it. Let's try this. Shall we? It's got biscuit flavouring on top. Frosting. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. The sponge is so soft. The frosting is so good. Mmm. That was good. I actually like that. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I'm going to try the next one, which again, I'm pretty certain is like the same thing, pretty much. I think it is the same thing, but we'll give it a go anyway, you know, because the other one, I think it's got like fudge flavouring on top or something, or toffee flavouring on top, but we'll try this one. Mm -mm. Mmm. This is pretty good. Mmm. I love this. It's nice. Alright. So. We're going to try one more. One more. We've just got the toffee dash fudge uh, flavouring on top as well don't know how well it's going to come out on camera there we go so that's that's what it's got on top I don't know what it is either toffee or fudge it's one of the two it looks like more toffee to be honest so I'm just going to give this a, a, a give this a go give it a try see what it tastes like Mmm. That more tastes like caramel. One second. Oh, it's toffee. It's not... Nah. Yeah, toffee sauce. So the other ones is toffee, toffee sauce. That was good. That is definitely worth the money. I think it was two quid. I think yeah, two pounds for these uh, in Asda Speculoos. They're called. They're very lovely. I will admit, very nice. Definitely worth it. Um, and it's definitely got that biscuit flavouring topping as well. Definitely. So definitely recommend that. If you're planning to go to Asda and get that, definitely recommend it. So, last night I went to Asda, as I said to you guys. Um, I went to Asda and I only picked up a few things because I'm going to be going to Aldi later this week, either on Tuesday or Wednesday. So, expect to see an Aldi haul um, in next week's Lockdown Weekly Vlog. But... I did go to Asda, so I thought I'd just show you guys what I did buy from Asda, because it was only a few things, anyway, just enough just to get me through until probably, well, until Tuesday, Wednesday, pretty much, so I picked up a bag of onion rings, which is nice, I love onion rings, um, I also picked up some puffins, picked up some puffins, which are like Asda's own penguins, I think, I also picked up some dark milk chocolate, well, dark chocolate digestives, which, by the way, I've not had in a while. Um, because normally I pick up milk chocolate, but they didn't have milk chocolate digestives. This was the nearest thing that I could get to digestives, which had chocolate on it. So, 
I picked up dark chocolate. Why not? Um, I also picked up some Cherryade as well. Um, to be honest, I'm not going to keep this Cherryade in my room. I will take it down and put it in the fridge when there is some room in the fridge. Because I also picked up um, some mango and passion fruit juice as well. Really big bottle, like a 1.5 litre bottle of mango and passion fruit juice. And I also picked up a big bottle of um, chocolate milkshake as well, which again is in the fridge. Um, so yeah, so that's what I got last night at Asda. Like I say, I'm going to Audi uh, next week uh, between Tuesday and Wednesday. Not sure when, but uh, do expect an Audi haul next week. That'd be nice. And I'll show you guys what I brought from Audi. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So that's what I got at Asda last night. Okay, so I am just about to have a video call with my friend Kieran on Skype and I'm also going to have a chocolate milkshake as well which I brought from Asda last night. Uh, so I'm just about to uh, get my headphones on. Out. That's better. <laughs> That's better. There we go. Anyway, I'm just about to have a video call with Kieran. Let's do this. Oh. oh god, it is 22 minutes past 10. I don't know why I just spoke in that weird voice. It's 22 minutes past 10. I've just got off the phone to uh, Kieran on Skype because we had a video call, as you saw in the last scene. And I have not yet uploaded my How Many Steps video that I normally do for YouTube on a Sunday. So I'm going to crack on and do that. And I also need to take my dog for a walk as well because, you know, he needs to have a walk. It's late night. I like walking late at night in the dark. Anyway, uh, that is it from me for this week, uh, for this week's weekly vlog. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you uh, did, please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, that would be very much appreciated. And if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well. Lots more great content coming up for you uh, over the next few weeks as part of the lockdown weekly vlogs. Um, also as well, I have just done a TikTok as well. Um, please follow me on TikTok by the way. It's SteveOfficial2019 is my TikTok username. I've been doing a couple of duets with a couple of TikTokers on uh, TikTok. So, and I really do love doing duets with a few people on there so it's really nice um anyway give me a follow on smule if you're not yet following me on smule it's steve smule 2020 i do some singing on there and some of them are fairly decent some aren't that great but you know some are fairly decent uh, and also as well give me a follow on twitter it's at steve crosby 2020 if you're not yet following me on snapchat follow me on snapchat too it's uh, dj steve crosby is my snapchat username and if you're not following me on instagram follow me on instagram as well <laughs> it's uh, steve official 2020 i've got a load of social media channels for you guys to follow honestly unbelievable next week i will be talking about the return of my blogs because i'm going to get back to blogging again um, I'm also going to be having a KFC on Tuesday as well. I'm going to be having Chicken Tuesday for the first time ever. So that would be cool if I can do that. I think, fingers crossed I should be able to. It all depends on the weather though. Um, also as well next week I will be going to Hainsbury Head and hopefully Muddyford as well. So that's also something for you guys to look forward to. Um, and also as well I've got my Audi haul coming up next week as well. Um, I've just got loads of stuff coming up next week so please do stick around for that um, that's coming up next week but from me though it's goodbye thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next lockdown weekly vlog